Good day, everybody. How's everyone doing today? It's February 25th, 2024. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome to Big Bear Weather and More. Welcome to the channel. I appreciate you being here. This is the calm before the storm. Not much of a storm, but it's still a little bit calm. And it's before the storm. So we'll, we'll see what we got going here. So tomorrow we do have a system coming through. It keeps on fluctuating every few hours, whether it's gonna be a few inches of snow or just maybe less than an inch of snow total. But when it's this type of a, a, a situation, where as I said, it, it literally fluctuates every few hours in the forecast, um, I'm, I lean towards, I have no idea what's gonna happen. And usually I never do anyway. But I'm gonna assume we're, we're probably gonna get a fresh inch of snow out of this. Um, we were supposed to continue having some snow into the 27th, but that looks like it's uh, gone by the wayside, unfortunately. But we will we will do what we can to do our snow dance and bring some more snow. We are going to have a live feed as soon as it starts snowing tomorrow. So those of you who enjoy those live feeds, please hop on over. It would be fun to chat with you guys again. And yeah, don't forget to go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com to get yourself some new merch. We've added a whole bunch of new stuff. Um, when you go to the website so you can see everything, click on the drop down menu on the top and then click the catalog. And then you will, you'll be able to see what we have. And any suggestions for more items, guys, please do not hesitate. Because this is for you guys. I want to make sure that I am putting out for you guys what you guys are interested in, not what I like. As I've gotten older, I've realized my likes are extremely subjective. As a youngster, I thought it was objective. <laughs> Definitely far from objective. But right now, we're going to go into the snowiest part of Big Bear right now for the calm before the storm, just so you guys can see what, what is left and what it's probably going to look like after this storm. They could get a couple inches up there for sure in Upper Moon Ridge. So fingers crossed, that's the case. One of my favorite houses in the whole town right there. Two of them look very similar right next door to each other, just beautiful properties. And I'm pretty sure they're Airbnbs. Probably extremely pricey. So we are turning on Vine and now turning on Lucerne. And we're gonna start heading up into Upper Moon Ridge. This is kind of the back way in. We were just on McAllister, which was the, the, uh, the main road. We, well, we started on Fox Farm, but when we made that little curve, it turned into McAllister. But yeah, guys, I'm, I'm always excited about any snow like this. And for those of you who are planning to come up and go skiing or snowboarding, don't forget you guys, we have a partnership with Get Boards on Big Bear Boulevard. They have two shops, a ride shop and a ski shop. And the ride shop is one block away from the village on Big Bear Boulevard and the ski shop is two blocks away, both on the same side of the road. I have all the information in the description of the video. Um, I'm telling you guys, best prices on your rentals for sure. The best staff, super, super knowledgeable, very friendly. <clears throat> and if you mention that I sent you, if you bring your own skis and your own snowboard in, they'll wax it free of charge. Usually that's between a $25 and a $40 uh, fee. So don't forget to mention me and they will take care of you. Um, and if you want to save money on your lift tickets, if you order your lift tickets through getboards.com, 72 hours in advance of when you plan on actually hitting the slopes, you'll save a good amount of money. Anything I can do to help you guys save a few bucks and also be in a very good, happy mood the whole time you are here, I'd like to help. All right, so we are in Upper Moon Ridge now. Here we go. 
This street we're turning on right now is called Villa Grove. We're gonna take this all the way through. Once again, this is the snowiest area in Big Bear. For those of you who love the snow like me, this is where you wanna rent your Airbnb property. And we have a good one in the middle to upper Moon Ridge area, guys, on our channel right now. If you guys have any questions about it, let me know and I can send you all the information. It's a friend of the channel. The guy is just the coolest, kindest person ever. And it's right next to Bear Mountain, right down the street in a very snowy part of this area. So let me know. And if you mention once again that you're a friend of this channel, he'll definitely sit, uh, give you guys a nice discount. Again, the guy is super cool, super cool. We're gonna go backwards this time. We always go that that way to the left. We're gonna go this way. But yeah, snowiest area in Big Bear, y'all. As you can see, there's a lot of dry patches, unfortunately. And off to the right here, we're gonna turn turn left here, I believe. But there's Bear Bear Mountain right there, right through those trees. So this is La Crescenta Street. We're gonna take this all the way back around to where we started. My house is at the bottom of this hill and we don't have any snow in our driveway left, nothing. It's all gone, but there's still a bunch of snow up here. Guys, it's 51 degrees up here. Can you believe that? 51 degrees. Pretty darn warm. I can't believe how close we're getting to March. The good thing is it looks like the beginning of March. We could have a pretty good amount of weather coming through. I'm gonna say in the first week of March, we could see a, a foot of snow up here. And this season, I'm telling you guys, that would be wonderful. That would be wonderful. I love that sign right there. That is so cool. So many beautiful houses up here, you guys. On either side of the road. Look at how cute these houses are. All right. Yeah, I'm definitely not used to going this, this way. I wish it looked like this down where I live, but it's literally a five minute drive to get to all this snow. guys can see the roads are in great condition only thing I would warn you guys about is during the day obviously this a lot of snow is gonna melt and a lot of it will end up in the street 
you'll see puddles from here and there as we're driving and those if it doesn't all fully evaporate during during the daytime will end up freezing at nighttime and therefore it will be ice so I want you guys to be very very careful just because it hasn't snowed in a little while doesn't mean that you're not gonna hit icy conditions always be aware of that and for the rest of this video we're gonna stay in the snowiest part of town for you guys And those of you who have any contractor needs or plumber needs, electrician needs, contact me because I will only refer you guys, the people with the best reputations up here, licensed, who do the best job possible. And most of them are good friends of mine. going to take you guys by the Airbnb that we have on the channel for you guys to rent. Again, it's much closer to Bear Mountain than where we're at right now. It's on one of our most famous streets called Sheephorn. It's a very well-known street up here. turn to start the loop right here. Turn left on Luna. We're on Villa Grove right now, turning left on Luna. And once again, straight ahead, you'll get some, some little views above these houses of beautiful Bear Mountain. Apparently, Bear Mountain got a record snowfall for, fe for the month of February. I saw that news everywhere. I, I don't believe it, but it is what it is. Every, every bit of news that I saw about it said that Bear Mountain, but I don't think that they were, uh, I, I mean, maybe the very, very top saw that, that much snow. It was like 10 to 12 feet of snow in the, in the month of February. Look at that nice, nice view of Bear. That's beautiful. Yeah, maybe the very top, you guys. But we're gonna be driving right by it in just a few minutes and I I don't see 10 to 12 feet of snow at, at the base there but they did get really good snow there's there's no no question about that and I know you guys will be super pumped to go up here we're on sheep horn now coming up to the Airbnb And remember, all these wet spots, this is all gonna turn to ice in the evening time. Just be super cautious. Coming up 
to the Airbnb. Here it, here it is. I'll coming up to it right there. Good sized place. They have a nice hot tub right outside the master bedroom. It's a great spot, you guys. And Bear Mountain is just right here down the street. And look at how much snow they have out here. So don't don't hesitate to hit me up. Get you all the information you need. And get you all squared away. Ridge Road, folks, and we're going to be making a left. Make sure we don't cut in front of any traffic. Let me clean the windshield off real quick. It's got a few little scuff marks on there. Those of you who followed this channel closely, you'll remember that these last few storms, it changed from rain to snow and back to rain, then back to snow numerous times. So we were right on that snow line. Here at the ski resort, they maintained the snow most of the time. So yes, they definitely got a lot more snow than we did for sure, no question about it. But again, 10 to 12 feet, geez. Look at all those people enjoying themselves. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. by the front of Bear. It will be pretty, pretty close to the end of the calm before the storm. Thanks again, you guys, for hanging. I appreciate it.
again, as you guys can see, the roads are in great shape. Other than the major potholes, you guys, please, please be careful. Be very careful, especially on Big Bear Boulevard on the main drag, because it could turn out to be a real drag if you're not paying 100% attention. in the zoo <clears throat> and as soon as we get through the other side of the roundabouts on the main part of Moon Ridge Road we will be done with the calm before the storm and during the storm we're gonna be making our drives up to that area where we just came from to see the difference from before the storm to after the storm so I'm just really hopeful that we do get a little more than anticipated but anything, anything's good. Anything's good. We're always happy for anything. I know the ski resorts want a whole bunch more, and I do too. But anyway, guys, thanks again for hanging out. Thanks again for supporting the channel. Don't forget, hit like and subscribe to help me out, help this channel move forward. I would appreciate it. And don't forget to go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com for your merchandise if you want to help support the channel in that way. That would be amazing. I've already seen a, a, a few people wearing some merchandise up here, and it's pretty darn cool to see something that we've grown together being just, you know, I, I don't know. It's it's amazing. It's It's amazing. People are sporting the gear. It's just really cool. So anyway, take care, guys. Once again, it's February 25th, 2024 in beautiful, gorgeous Big Bear Lake, California. And I will be seeing you the first snowflake tomorrow. I love you guys. Peace out.